everybody. This is Kunal, representing KB Fitness. And I posted a question on my Facebook status earlier today, asking people to email me questions of what they want me to answer, and I'll go ahead and make a video on it. And so, as I was browsing through the questions I got, I noticed I got three, three of the same, more or less the same question, which was, for chest development, what's better, barbell or dumbbell? And I'm glad people asked me that. I don't know how it lists in my mind because I definitely that'd be one of the first videos I want to do. That's a huge argument in the bodybuilding community. A lot of people have a lot of different opinions, so I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all mine. But before that, I just got a few quick things to say. One, as of right now, I'm recording on my iPhone, so the camera quality might not be that great. The thing is that I've gotten two different video cameras um, from people. Luckily, I haven't bought them, and both of them are, it's not too compatible with Mac, so if any of y'all know of any video cameras, quality cameras, that can import straight to iMovie on Mac, uh, please comment below, because I'm looking to um, buy one. And second thing, before I go ahead and give y'all the argument, um, and tell you guys my opinion on which one's better, I just want to clarify a few things. First, bench press is one of the greatest overall upper body exercises but we're talking about today we, we're talking about chest development so we're just focusing on our chest um second thing when i'm talking about bench press i'm talking about elbows flared out i'm not talking about the the olympic style where your elbows are coming in right uh the olympic style if y'all don't know the elbows are coming in and it's more of a force movement less uh pressure on your shoulder today we're going to be talking about elbow, elbows a little flared out mimicking the dumbbell press right and so I'm going to go ahead and throw y'all a little science, keep it really quick. But basically the dumbbell, um, I mean the barbell bench press stimulates a lot of the front delts as well and a lot of the upper pecs, right? According to EMG analysis. And the dumbbell stimulates um, more of the middle to lower chest, right? So that's the first thing. Now, I know y'all looking for a clear cut answer. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you that there is no clear-cut answer. I'm going to give you the pros and cons of the bench, the barbell bench. I'm going to give you the pros and cons of the dumbbell. And then I'm going to tell you what the best way to incorporate both of these um, to get the most out of your chest. So the barbell bench press. The biggest problem with this is that you're in a locked position, right? A lot of people have problem developing their inner chest, right? And although there isn't a separate, there's an outer and inner chest, it's one muscle, right? Except peg minor, peg major. A lot of, you can still um, target and you can still put emphasis on certain areas. And with the barbell bench press, you're locked in a position where you're pressing up, but you can't come in. And when you want to target your inner chest, you need to bring your humerus, not just up, as you can see, not just up, but you need to bring it across your body. You can tell that you're going to stimulate more of your chest bringing it across your body instead of just straight up, right? And so that's a huge benefit that the dumbbell has over the barbell. You get a deeper stretch at the bottom because you go out more, you get less tricep involvement, which means that your chest is forced to do more work. This is with the dumbbells. And as you explode up, you bring them together, you're, emph you're putting emphasis on your inner chest as well. The barbell now, you're pressing straight up, straight down, Great overall mass builder, strength builder. You can obviously push more weight with it. And not only is that the advantage, that you can you get stronger with the barbell bench press because the more weight, the more muscle fibers you're stimulating in your overall upper body. That's why it brings in a lot of your front delts. But it also, let's see, with the barbell bench press, you're also putting a lot of emphasis on your triceps. Your triceps are also doing a lot of work. With the dumbbells, as long as your arms stay above your elbow right as long as they don't come in when they come in as you come down right that's gonna put emphasis on your triceps but if your arms stay above your elbows on down you are putting all the emphasis on your chest and as you press up through your chest you squeeze together you're not bringing the dumbbells together but you're bringing your elbows straight up you're leading your elbows are leading through the whole movement and so the dumbbells the issue with them is that you can't go too heavy on them. And my opinion on rep ranges, which I'll come to know eventually, is that there's no set 8 to 12 is muscle building. To me, you there's a place for 4 to 6 reps. There's a place for strength training. There's a place for 15 to 20 reps. And so 
on the barbell bench press, it allows you to go to go a lot heavier. On the dumbbells, if you want to get, say, three to five reps, you're not going to want to be kicking up 100-pound dumbbells and trying to stabilize that just to get three reps. It's going to take too much out of you just to get them up there in starting position. And so, I'll tell you, if I had to pick one for overall chest development, I'm going to go ahead and go with the dumbbells. Like I said, the barbell is better. If I was saying I had to pick one to do for the rest of my life, then yes, I'll pick the barbell bench press for my total body development. But if I'm trying to isolate my chest, with the dumbbells, you get a better contraction. You better you get a better range of motion. You get more time and attention for your chest. And that's what building muscle is all about. And so, ultimately, I will take my chances with the heavy reps um, with the dumbbells and go ahead and do that. But... Like I said, guys, I'm going to tell you that you should incorporate both. They both have their places. A barbell bench press has a foundation. The dumbbell press is an accessory. Now, that's not to say that you have to start with the barbell. Me, personally, I don't like um, barbells that much. I'll start with incline dumbbells. I'll go to flat dumbbells. And then I'll do a set of flat uh, barbells. You know what I mean? I don't necessarily like to start um, barbell bench press um, in any of my chest workouts. That's personal preference. Now, if you like the barbell bench press, by all means, go ahead and do that first. Um, but make sure to incorporate dumbbells because they both have their place in a complete chest workout. And that's what you want. A complete chest workout to hit your chest from different angles and stuff like that. And even though they seem they're both flat movements, um, they both have their place and they both stimulate the chest in slightly different ways. And so there you have it, guys. As always, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like. Email me all your training and nutrition questions. Email in the description below. And I'll do videos like this all the time, guys. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, guys. Links in the description below as well. I'll see y'all later.